All right, folks, let's talk about something that goes zoom and then boom. No, it's not my last attempt at cooking. It's a missile, the Brahmos missile. Sounds like a new energy drink, right? Brahmos, get hyped. But trust me, you don't want to drink this. It's got a bit of a kick, a very, very big kick. So where does this fancy name come from? It's a mashup, like Benifer, but with more geopolitical implications. Bra for the Brahmaputra River in India. Moss for the Moskva River in Russia. See? International cooperation. It's like a potluck dinner where India brings the spice and Russia brings the, well, the rocket fuel. Teamwork makes the dream work, or in this case, the boom work. Now, why are we dedicating a whole segment to this thing? Because it's not just missile. It's like comparing your grandpa's old pickup truck to a Formula One race car that can also, you know, explode. This thing is a game changer. And today we're going to unpack why. So what's the big deal about Brahmos? Speed, raw, unadulterated, face-melting speed. We're talking supersonic. That means faster than the speed of sound. Specifically, Mach 2.8 to Mach 3. That's almost three times the speed of sound. Your excuses for being late? Brahmos doesn't have them. It's just unfashionably fast. Why is this speed so important? Imagine playing dodgeball. Now imagine the ball is invisible until the last second, and it's on fire. That's what supersonic speed does. It gives the other guy virtually no time to react. No time to duck, dodge, dip, dive, or even say, oh crap, it's just welcome to the party. Bam. This isn't just about being flashy. There's serious physics involved, people. Faster speed means less flight time, which also means the target has less time to, you know, it leads to lower target dispersion, meaning it's more likely to hit what it's aimed at. It's not just fast. It's fast and focused. Now, to truly appreciate Brahmos's hustle, let's compare it to some of the other missiles out there. Think of it as a drag race, but with more explosions. First up, the American Tomahawk missile. A classic, reliable, been around the block, but its speed, Mach 0.74, subsonic. That's like comparing a rocket ship to a slightly ambitious paper airplane. Tomahawk sends a strongly worded letter. Brahmos sends a text that detonates. Then we have Russia's Kaliber missile. Another well-known name in the boom boom business. The Kaliber is mostly subsonic too. Some versions get a little supersonic sprint right at the end. Like that guy who walks the whole marathon and then jogs the last hundred feet. Good effort, but Brahmos is sprinting the entire way. Consistently Mach 2.8 to Mach 3. It doesn't do fashionably late, it does shockingly early. And it's not just these two. The British French Storm Shadow, Mach 0.8, subsonic. The American JASM, subsonic. Even India's other cruise missile, the Nurbe, subsonic. They're all taking the scenic route. Ramos is taking a wormhole. Okay, so Brahmos is fast. We get it. It's the Usain Bolt of things that go boom. But what if it's just fast and clumsy? Like a bull in a china shop. But the bull is also a rocket. Well, fear not, collateral damage warriors. Because Brahmos isn't just fast, it's also incredibly precise. We're talking sniper level accuracy. It can hit within a meter of its intended target. One meter. Imagine trying to throw a paper airplane across a football stadium and get it into a specific coffee cup. That's the kind of precision we're dealing with here. This missile has an advanced guidance system. It's not just relying on vibes and good intentions. It's got brains. Serious high-tech target locking brains. It knows where it's going and it's not easily distracted. Ooh, shiny object is not in its vocabulary. Why is this precision so darn important? Well, in the delicate art of modern warfare, you generally want to hit the bad guys, not the bad guy's neighbor's prize-winning petunias. Or, you know, a hospital. Section 5. One missile to rule them all land, sea, air. No problem, so Brahmos is fast, it's accurate. What else has it got in its bag of tricks? Versatility, my friends. This missile is the Swiss army knife of doom. It's not picky about where it starts its journey. Wanna launch it from land? Check. Mobile launchers hidden in the jungle? Easy peasy. How about from a warship sailing the high seas? Absolutely, it's like half platform, we'll travel very fast. But wait, there's more. Can you launch it from under the water? From a submarine? You bet your periscope you can. Imagine the surprise. Captain, is that a dolphin? No, son, that's a boom. And for the grand finale, can it be launched from the air? Yes, indeed. From a fighter jet, like the Su-30 MKI. So it can basically appear from anywhere, like a really aggressive magic trick. Let's compare this to our other missile buddies again. The Tomahawk, mostly ships and submarines. 
good, but a bit limited. The Kaliber, land, sea, and submarine launched, getting closer, but no air launched option. So, no dramatic entrances from the sky. The Storm Shadow, exclusively air launched. A one trick pony, albeit a good trick. Jassim, also air launched only. They're specialists. Brahmos is the multi talented superstar. This multi platform capability is a massive deal. Section 6. Going the distance, eventually. Range, ambition, and future road trips. Alright, it's fast, accurate, versatile. But how far can this supersonic Quai D, Quaidi, express delivery, actually go? The current operational range is up to 290 kilometers. That's not Quajoji, Quajoji, intercontinental. But it's a respectable distance. Enough to reach out and touch someone. With several tons of high explosives. It's like sending a very aggressive postcard from the next town over. Wish you weren't here. But the folks behind Brahmos are not ones to rest on their laurels. Or their current range limitations. They're already working on extended range versions. The Brahmos ER is aiming for 450 kilometers. Maybe even 500. That's like ordering takeout from a neighboring state. And the long-term dream? They're talking about future versions reaching up to 1,500 kilometers. Now that's starting to sound like a proper road trip. How does this stack up against the competition in the range department? Well, the Tomahawk can go much further, up to 1,600 kilometers. Some Kaliber variants can also boast ranges up to 2,500 kilometers. So for now, if you want to send a package really, really far, Brahmos might not be your first pick for extreme distances. But remember, Brahmos gets there much, much faster. Section 7. Now you see me, now you really don't. The art of being a sneaky missile. So, you've got this incredibly fast, super precise, multi-talented missile. Surely, with all that power, it must be easy to spot, right? Like a blinged out celebrity walking down the street? Wrong again! Brahmos is also a master of disguise. Or more accurately, a master of staying hidden. It can fly as low as 10 meters above sea level. That's basically wave surfing. Good luck picking that up on your fancy radar systems. This low-altitude, sea-skimming flight path, combined with its mind-boggling supersonic speed, makes Brahmos exceptionally difficult to intercept. It's like trying to catch a greased lightning bolt. That's also deliberately trying to avoid you. By the time most defense systems even realize it's there, it's already knocking on the door, with a battering ram made of fire. Think about the challenge for air defense systems. They have to detect, track, and engage a target that's barely peeking over the horizon and moving at nearly three times the speed of sound. The reaction window is tiny, seconds maybe. It's like playing whack-a-mole, but the mole is a caffeinated ninja and the mallet is too slow. Most systems would just get a fleeting glimpse before, well, boom. Section eight, Brahmos, the next generation, faster, angrier, and probably needs coffee. You'd think the engineers would be satisfied, right? Mach 3, pinpoint accuracy, launches from anywhere. Job done, let's go for a chai. Nope, these folks are clearly overachievers. They're already hard at work on the next versions of Brahmos. Because why settle for awesome when you can have? It's like your smartphone getting an update, but instead of a new emoji, it gets more Mach numbers. First up, there's Brahmos NG. The next generation, what's new? More speed, of course. They're aiming for Mach 3.5 because apparently Mach 3 was starting to feel a bit sluggish. Like, oh, only three times the speed of sound? Yawn. These engineers are clearly chasing some kind of speed demon, or maybe they just have very short attention spans. Faster, faster. And then there's the big dream, Brahmos 2. This one's aiming to be hypersonic. We're talking Mach 7 or Mach 8. That's not just fast, that's are we in a different dimension? Fast. At those speeds, the air itself becomes a problem. But hey, Challenges are just opportunities for more engineering, right? Imagine trying to intercept. It would be like trying to catch a thought. Section 9. Operation Sindor. That time Brahmos crashed Pakistan's party big time. All right, theory is great. Specs are impressive. Mach numbers are fun to say. But has this supersonic superstar actually, you know, done anything? Has it been tested in the real world under pressure? Well, funny you should ask. Because yes. Yes, it has. And it happened in May 2025. The event? Operation Sindur? Ramos made quite an entrance. Following a terror attack, India decided a firm response was needed. So, on the night of May 6th to 7th, India launched about 15 Brahmos missiles. The targets? Key military installations and air bases in Pakistan. This wasn't a gentle tap on the shoulder. 
This was a full-blown high-speed surprise. The operation was reportedly quite clever. They used dummy aircraft first to get Pakistani radar and air defense systems to light up. Once exposed, in came loitering munitions and then BrahMos. Reports say it damaged 11 of Pakistan's 13 major air bases or critical infrastructure across 11 of 12 key Pakistani Air Force bases. Either way, that's a very bad day at the office for the Pakistani Air Force. Section 10, the final boom. Why BrahMos is the undisputed king of crews. So let's wrap this up. What have we learned? BrahMos is not your average missile. It's faster than a caffeinated cheetah on a rocket sled. Precise enough for microscopic surgery if the patient was a tank. Versatile enough to be launched from anything that moves. Stealthy enough to give radar operators anxiety. It's the James Bond of missiles, if James Bond was also the Flash. When you put BrahMos next to its subsonic cousins like the Tomahawk, the Kaliber, Storm Shadow, or Jassim, it's clear BrahMos is playing a different game. Its supersonic speed changes everything. Less warning time for the enemy, higher kill probability, and a much harder target to intercept. It's like comparing a musket to a laser rifle. Both go bang, but differently. The recent success in Operation Sindor has taken BrahMos from a theoretical threat to a proven powerhouse. It's no longer just about potential, it's about demonstrated capability. And the world is taking notice. The Philippines has already placed orders. Vietnam is reportedly close. Other countries are lining up. From Southeast Asia to the Middle East to South America, 